Hey, this is pretty cool. Seven places on Earth that science has yet to explain. Exploring outer space is awesome. But what if there are places right here on Earth that are just as incredible and jaw-dropping? Luckily for you, you live on planet Earth, a place that holds secrets so wild and baffling that even scientists can't always explain them. Prepare to be amazed as you learn about seven of the world's most unbelievable mysteries and phenomena. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and turn on notifications to join us on the bright side of life. Counting down from number 7, the Devil's Kettle Waterfall. At first glance, this pretty waterfall located in Minnesota in the US looks like your average waterfall. What's interesting about this waterfall is that it has two different bodies of falling water. One side has water falling into another body of water, Lake Superior. The other one has water that falls straight into a huge natural hole in the ground. Where does this water lead? Well, that's the mysterious part. No one seems to know. People visiting the waterfall have dropped sticks and other objects down the disappearing waterfall, but they never see their items reappear downstream. In the past, scientists put the water to the test by releasing dye into the waterfall. They've even dropped large amounts of ping-pong balls down there. But they've never found a trace of the dye in any bodies of water in the area. So, where is this water going? Well, most of you will agree that this water has to go somewhere. Perhaps it's going into the ground. But wouldn't it have to come out somewhere? Scientists are still working on figuring this one out. Number 6. Stonehenge If you were to travel 8 miles or so north of Salisbury in England to a place called Salisbury Plain, you'd see tourists staring in awe at the Great Stonehenge. This prehistoric stone formation has been sitting in this spot for thousands of years. According to the Encyclopedia Britannica, Stonehenge was constructed in six stages between the years 3000 and 1520 BCE. But what's so interesting about a bunch of giant rocks? A lot, actually. While today we have machines that can help us lift heavy materials to build giant buildings and monuments, back in the days when Stonehenge was built, no one had access to this type of technology. So how on earth could anyone have lifted stones weighing anywhere from 4 to 37 tons? Even more than that, why were they doing this? Archaeologists have come up with plenty of theories to explain this phenomenon. Some guess that the men who built Stonehenge used a system of sledges, rollers, and boats. Others hypothesize that it was built with a weighted levee system. While many of these guesses seem to make sense to a certain extent, to this day, no one has a definitive answer, and there may never be one. Number 5. The Hestelin Lights If you saw dancing lights in the sky, what would you think they were? Aliens coming to Earth? Shooting stars? Well, the residents of Hestelin Valley, Norway, have to live with this burning question every single night. In Hestelin Valley, Brightly colored lights appear in the sky in different colors and shapes. For the last four decades, and possibly longer, this phenomenon has continued to puzzle scientists. According to some theories, these lights could be caused by a nearby radioactive lake emitting particles that light up in the air as they evaporate. Other scientists think that the base of the valley contains a lot of sulfuric acid. When it comes into contact with the water, it causes sparks to appear in the sky. Even though there are many different guesses as to why this town gets their very own light show every night, scientists still haven't come up with a definitive answer. For now, they'll just have to sit back and enjoy the free show. Number 4. The Boiling River in the Amazon Sometimes lounging around in a jacuzzi can be incredibly relaxing. But this hot body of water takes things to a whole new level. Deep in the Amazon forests lies a floating river in the forested region of Mayantayaku that boasts temperatures so hot that any person or animal that falls into it literally boils alive from the inside out. That's right! This river runs at an unbelievable 196 degrees Fahrenheit. Dang, that's hot! 
Locals use the water to brew tea, and sometimes they cook with it. While this river's high temperature is incredibly intriguing, what makes this natural phenomenon a mystery is the fact that no one can figure out what makes the water so hot. According to geophysicist Andres Ruzo, boiling waters are typically attached to an active volcano or magmatic system, like the Boiling River Trail in Yellowstone National Park in the U.S. But in the town of Mayantuyaku, there are no active volcanoes within 400 miles. So, what's heating it up so drastically? Over the centuries, residents of this town believed that the river had magical healing powers and used it spiritually and medicinally. Ruzo guesses that hot geothermal waters pour in from cracks in the earth, heating the temperature of the river. But this has yet to be scientifically proven. Meanwhile, if someone hunting animals illegally accidentally falls into the river and boils alive, well then, we'll have a poached poacher. Sorry, I couldn't help myself. Number 3. Movile Cave Can you believe that there's a place on Earth with its own ecosystem and atmosphere similar to another planet? Well, start believing. Movile Cave, located in southeastern Romania, remained closed in complete darkness for a whopping 5.5 million years. It wasn't until workers discovered the cave when they were looking for a place to build that anyone learned about it. Scientists carved out an opening to the cave and found that a completely sustained ecosystem was thriving inside. As a pathway was carved through the rock past numerous tunnels, scientists found a lake of sulfuric water that stank like rotten eggs. The air was filled with hydrogen sulfide and had 100 times more carbon dioxide than Earth's air contains. Needless to say, this air is completely toxic. What's even crazier is that a whole ecosystem has been existing in this cave, with 33 species that can't be found anywhere else on Earth. This cave gives us a glimpse of what could possibly exist on other planets with completely different atmospheres. How it managed to exist on Earth all this time without anyone knowing is rather unbelievable, isn't it? Number 2. Circles of Namibia Namibian deserts are full of elephants, snakes, antelope, and hundreds of evenly placed circles. Wait, what? This brutally hot desert is home to a vast array of wildlife, but even more interesting are the fields of grass with evenly spaced holes in them. These circles are almost perfect and range anywhere from 10 to 65 feet in diameter. Many scientists have offered up theories as to why these circles appear instead of other more random shapes. In 2013, environmental scientist Norbert Jurgens hypothesized that termites were the cause of these circles. But like all the hypotheses that came before his, it was later disproved. While this looks straight out of a scene from M. Night Shyamalan's hit horror flick Signs, it's definitely real, but no one can figure out why. Number 1. Western Venezuela's Never-Ending Light Storm Lightning storms are pretty cool, aren't they? They light up the sky, and you can't help but feel a special, exciting energy in the air. But these lightning storms usually end, and you go about living your life. But in western Venezuela, over the mouth of the Catatumbo River, there's a lightning storm that seems to be running on energizer batteries. It just keeps going and going. Once the clock strikes 7 p.m., the lightning storm begins and doesn't relent for another 10 long hours. This happens most nights during the year. To add to the strangeness of these ongoing storms, one night in 2010 saw the storm suddenly stop in the middle of the night and not return for six weeks. There have been multiple theories attempting to explain this odd phenomenon. Most recently, scientists are guessing that the surrounding mountains that contain warmer winds from the Caribbean Sea are to blame. The wind patterns comprised of warm and cool air dropping down from the Andes Mountains are forced upward and manifest into storm clouds. It's quite literally the perfect storm. So wasn't that cool? Do you have any theories about the mysterious places mentioned in this video? Share your hypothesis in the comment section and start a conversation. Don't forget to give this video a like, share it with your friends, and click subscribe. Stay on the bright side!